This is the most OP strat on Crystal Rush yet, and today I'm gonna teach you. So, welcome to the strat. I just got into a game, and I'm obviously gonna mine the weak note because it says mine me, and there's a big fat arrow that just went away. Anyways, just get eight weak shots, then get yourself a better pickaxe because a better pickaxe gets you more offs. I think that's like the fourth time I've said this in the video because I already made a video on a different strat that uh, works, I would say, like more reliable. And uh, so yeah, that will probably be linked like in an info card or something. But this one is definitely way more OP, but it also doesn't work exactly as often. So just get like uh, chainmail armor, get some blocks, and then you should be good to go. I need to put up my retina distance. Oh, what the hell? My retina distance was on two. Okay, so I don't have a neighbor, so I'll go into the middle directly. And red is also doing that. Um, red was quite fast with it, so that's not exactly good. But it also means that he doesn't have a stone sword and chainmail armor. So I should be easily able to kill them. So yeah, when you have like an opportunity like this, you can just get the nexus instantly. But usually you would get strong notes first and then like get a grapple hook or something. Um, but this time I'm just gonna do that real quick. Hopefully he doesn't go for mine. And he actually doesn't. What a dumbass. <laughs> Alright, let me just not dive to him. Because if I did, that would be stupid. Because uh, those nexus shards are all that you need for this game, okay? So he already gave me a healing totem, which is awesome, because I'm gonna need that. I'm also gonna get a defense totem, and then with the force nexus shards, get myself, where is it, a launch totem. So now that you have that, I also have some strong, um, some strong shards, so I got some upgrades. And now you can just use this launch totem and get everyone else's nexus. It is so funny. So, wait, what? Wait, what did they nerf it? I'll need to check that after this rush because it literally worked yesterday. Um, so we'll we'll see. But usually you would like instantly fly to this guy's space, and I would already have the nexus by now. Um, it doesn't it isn't really a problem because that guy wasn't as smart. So yeah, okay, I got four. Oh my gosh, really? You are kidding? Wait, I I need to check the totem real quick. Okay, it isn't nerfed, it isn't nerfed. I just did it wrong last time. So there we go, I won the first game. But to prove you that it really works, I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm not even lying, it took 20 minutes for this new game to start. What the hell is this? Okay, anyways, I'm getting the better pickaxe, getting some blocks, get all the good stuff. All right, I got all my blocks to have a neighbor. I don't have a neighbor, so I'll go for the, <gasps> for the strong shots. So let's go. Uh, no one's here, which is quite good. I'll just walk into the middle directly. Because this one's, I don't know, closer, I think. So when you don't have someone to instantly rush, you can just... Well, either fi find someone to rush, because obviously it's not all that far away if you're in the middle. Um, or you can just mine this whole strong note thing, and then go back, and then get yourself some like really good stuff. And then the chances of you winning this are extremely high. So first I'll get a pickaxe, then I'll get an iron sword, uh, iron chest plate, and then also a grapple hook. Then you still have two left, which is pretty good. And uh, I'm just gonna get a few weak nodes again. Then from that get a defense totem, get a healing totem, then a gap and a few blocks. Alright, so now the fun can begin. The only problem is that in these early stages of Tabnet, there's not a lot of people playing at the same time. And so I once had a game where there was 8 people in there. And with, a, with this strat I got 6 um, nexus shards, like in a row, you know, without even well, getting killed once. Um, so yeah, this can be really OP, uh, but doesn't have to be if there's not a lot of people. Let me just use my defense totem real quick. And also my health totem, because this guy is not bad. Or I'm just bad at the moment. <laughs> I think both is true. Okay, because I have the iron pickaxe, the breaking went a lot faster. I'm just gonna gap and I should be able to kill this guy. If I'm not, that would be bad. Okay, good, good, good. Now I can get the launch totem again, get some weak notes for a gap. I found some more for the two totems, but you don't need the two totems if, if you're really confident in your PvP skills. Okay, so this is blue and he still has a nexus, so I have to fly over there. Double jump to fly up, press space to activate the elytra. I'll just go straight down here. He's probably gonna get my nexus, but since I'm gonna destroy his, I can buy the flying thing again and then still catch him at my base. Maybe before he breaks my nexus, would be kind of awesome. Okay, place it down, double jump, and jump once again. He didn't even get it, he's not uh, nowhere close. He's over here at the moment, is he gonna fly over? It would have been so funny if I killed him there. 
Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Oh, wait, never mind. Is that a fireball? Yeah, it is. Okay. And he also... Wait, he also had an elytra? Oh, no, this is bad, actually. I never used the one where... um, Like, there's a... Not a totem, but, but I think it's an orb. Where you can swap your chest plate for an elytra. Only for a, f for a short moment. But the fireball gives so much knockback, so I was able to kill him. GG. And once again, I want to emphasize that it only works like insanely well if there's eight teams. And if you found out that any items are really OP, comment it down below. On the end screen right now, I will also leave a strategy that like always works. It's not as experimental and it's a bit safer. So you can check that out if you want to. But as always, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.